guys, so I figured I would take a quick video um, and kind of show you some in-game Star Citizen. I know it's still an alpha, but uh, so basically what you're seeing now is I have warped or quantum drive to the location I'm going, which is a bounty, and we are going to be there in a little bit, so sit tight. So this ship is the Pirate Gladius. Um, it's a variant that you get for completing um, a mission they call the Pirate Swarm. So it's pretty similar to the stock except for the livery, livery. Cockpit's bright because that past that sun but so while you're in quantum drive it can take up to five minutes to get to a location um, sometimes even a bit longer depending on if you're flying a bigger ship but um, you have the global chat up um, you have access to your Moby glass which you can handle everything from your vehicle loadouts um, you can hot swap uh, right now you can hot swap so even if you're just in the ship you can actually change out your coolers your shield generators your quantum drive your weaponry um, and even your paint scheme so you also have your equipment manager which is you Oh, I don't know why he's standing like Jesus. Um, he typically doesn't do that, but they here you can handle, um, you know, your undersuit, your weapons, which I will. Oh, I'm coming out of hyperdrive, quantum drive, and then your armor. And your armor, there's a lot of different armors, um, so I'm going to change my helmet just so you guys can see it. heavy, medium, light armor. Um, your utilities are your grenades, your medi pens, your oxygen pens, um, you know, flashlight, shit like that. Um, they just introduced different color uh, Moby glass, which is silly, but. Um, so your map, that's where I'm going. I was coming from here, uh, which is Crusader. This is the stand system. Um, this is currently the only system that we can play. Um, it's not complete yet, but uh, they will be um, introducing a second system at the end of this year. So um, I came over from Crusader to Hurston, and I am coming. Oops. To this rendezvous beacon here. Um, so also in this you have uh, this is new they have a trader app this is the first this is like v0 so this is where I can actually trade um, cash to other players which is new and it was highly sought after um, and then your contract managers so you have your general here you can do all of these things Oops, okay. so we just came out of quantum drive <laughs> So this is Planet Hurston. Um, you can fly down into atmosphere here, and I'll actually show you that on Hurston, oh, because I have a, a mission. So typically when you engage your, or spool up your quantum drive, you'll see landmarks on the planet that you can fly into so after this mission I'll fly you guys down there so I had my um, waypoint set 
to get me over there. So OM is an orbital marker. So this will help me get around the planet. And then everything from here is pretty quick. Quantum travel complete. Planetoid Aerial. Quantum travel complete. Shut that off. Okay, another orbital marker here. Actually, the first mission that I had with this ship, um, as you can see, it's a lot different from maybe the other ships that I'm used to. Um, okay, so now we've completed that. So I got the $2,000 um, deposited. So now, just to show you guys before I um, go back and dock. Obstructed, obstructed, obstructed. Actually, I'll go to Everest Harbor. So I was going to take you down planet side. Um, oh, actually, there we go. No, I'm taking you down to planet side just so you can see, um, like, how the scale of this.
So this planet, um, obviously very flat. Um, there are many different planetoids that have different height maps. You're actually seeing some textures and elevations pop up. Um, kind of a part of the gimmick of it being an alpha still. thousand meters away. Jets here for a second. There it is. Everest. Landing gear deployed. And I just want to show you guys, so now I've landed on this planet, um, I'm going over to this, I call it an uh, ASOP terminal, it's where you can get your ships and your vehicles, or ASOP for short. So it's pretty cool because I have to pressurize the chamber. Okay, and then I come in here, and I only have one vehicle, um, and it's like this little minor thing. And it might say that. Yeah, so I gotta. It was just recently destroyed. Um, there we go. Retrieve. It'll say uninitialized only because it's an alpha, and that's a bug, and then there's my gray cat, so now... Go back out. And you can go into third person, um, pretty much whenever. Sounds like another ship's landing. Yep. So that's actually another player. Um, that's a freelancer Max. Um, don't know what exactly he is doing, because he's not near a landing pad. Maybe he's gonna land there. Uh, but anyway, so I'm not gonna go mining, but you know, you get into this bad boy. Uh, yeah, power on. Gives you all your same data. Ah, oh, he just landed on my ship. Idiot. So that was engine on, and then you can drive this thing. I'm not very good at driving vehicles, and uh, gravity is different on every planetoid. Uh, but, yeah. So that's that. I'm actually just going to abandon her here. Thank you. And please visit again. Uh, I'm going to remember how to get out. Ah, there it is, exit C. So that's the guy that just landed on my ship, but <clears throat> um, this, on the top right of the screen, um, there's the no bullet sign, so this is called an armistice zone, 
armistice zone, so you can't actually engage anybody here. Um, but so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, stop streaming um, because it's already a 15 minute video. So um, that's basically a wicked short intro. Um, I can maybe put together a few more. I'm happy to do so, but I have to get to work. All right, guys. Thanks.